guys, John here at LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you how to play a Kenny Wayne Shepherd inspired slow blues solo. Uh, it's an aggressive solo that should be played over the high dynamic section of a slow blues. This solo is in the key of G, and I think it will give you a, a lot of different things to practice on if you want to play this aggressive style. You know, the Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Steve Ray Vaughan, Albert King. It's just a really fun style to play that is also really aggressive sounding. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple of licks for free. And if you would like access to the full lesson, the interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the all access pass. Okay, let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into seven separate licks. Uh, once again, this solo is in the key of G. Lick one sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so that is lick number one, and uh, what's happening here is uh, we're starting the 12 bar solo out, and uh, right before the band kicks in, uh, we're just gonna strike um, eighth fret here on the B string, that's our root note, right before that comes in, so right after 12th count, it's a 12 eight blues, so right before the band kicks, hitting that eighth fret right here with third finger. This is uh, the second position minor pentatonic scale, I like to call it the Albert King little box because you got all this. So that's what we're doing here. We're hitting that. And then right when the band kicks in, you're going to bend the eighth fret on the high E string. The typical Stevie Ray Vaughan, Albert King style thing. Uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd does a lot of the uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Albert King influenced licks, of course. So you're bending eighth up to the 10th fret sound on the high E. Then hit sixth fret with your first finger. And then hit eighth fret three times on the B string. And then heavy vibrato. Kenny Wayne Shepherd does vibrato that is extremely intense. And so I'm using the neck pickup for this first lick. I'm also using the Clapton style vibrato, but it's a more aggressive the way Kenny Wayne Shepherd does it. He'll do that style of vibrato a lot. Where you just move your whole arm up and down. Uh, for more information on playing that style of vibrato, uh, please check out my Play Like Clapton course. So we're gonna do that. Now we got 686 just walking down that second position minor pentatonic scale, six on the high E, eight, uh, six on the B. Now I'm just gonna slide real quickly uh, to the fifth fret. You hear Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing that a lot as well. And now pull off to the third fret. We're moving into the uh, first position minor pentatonic scale. That's, that's a cool way to get from second position to first position, real simple. Like there's a lot of these transition licks that you can learn. And so that's one of them I like to do a lot. Just sliding back and that puts you instantly from second position to uh, first position. So we have that. Now hit fifth fret on the D string. That's our root note G. And this little just roll down kind of lick where we go three on the uh, G, G string here. Uh, third fret on the G string and then fifth fret on the D and then roll it down to the fifth fret on the uh, A string. So it's a really cool uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd inspired lick. Of course, what you know, we got from uh, Albert King and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Just puts his own little spin on it. So that's a cool move to do. Pretty quick. I'm also using the round side of the pick. It's a Fender uh, heavy pick, so you can really attack the strings and it doesn't really give in, so you can get uh, a, lot, a really fat sound when you use a heavy pick like this. Okay, and the last thing you do on this lick is one of these just slide backs, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes I like to call them SRV slides, uh, Albert King slides, whatever you want to call them. It's just like a, you go from like any fret way up here, I'm just doing an upstroke and sliding back to that. And Kenny Wayne Shepherd will do a lot of those. Yeah. 
you watch him play, he does that just all the time. Really cool, aggressive thing. Uh, to learn more of these type things, uh, check out my Blues Techniques course. Okay, so that is it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number two. Uh, really aggressive lick right there. Highly influenced by Stevie Ray Vaughan. So we're back into the second position minor pentatonic scale. Hit that twice. Uh, we're gonna do that on the third count. Our four chord C7 is happening now. And on the third count, you got one, two, and then you start that. And then you're gonna bend up the eighth fret on the high E string. Now strike it while it's bent twice. Now bend it again, six, and then strike eighth fret twice in heavy vibrato. So. Now we're gonna strike, this is a really awesome thing that uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan does in Texas Flood. Uh, you can add the major pentatonic and it gives you this little pattern. Instead of just doing six, eight, and then six on that high E string. It sounds cool to add that little major six note to it. Taken from the major pentatonic scale, fifth fret on the B string, and then root on the uh, uh, B string here. So you got five, eight, six. It's a cool way to add the major pentatonic scale to this uh, Albert King box. And then you'll also notice when I uh, bend this sixth fret on the high E string, that's a minor third here. So I'm actually adding uh, the major pentatonic again just by vibratoing and bending. I'm bending that sixth fret up slightly, all, all, just about to that seventh fret sound, which gives you a major third. That's a note in the G major chord. So you can be playing all day long in G, minor pentatonic Albert King box. And then add that major pentatonic real easily. And then getting that heavy vibrato with your first finger, bending it up to the sixth fret sound, which is the major sound. So blending major and minor pentatonic doesn't have to be extremely difficult. Uh, it helps me to just find little places I can add to the minor pentatonic, make it sound major. And so for the run at the end, uh, it's another cool transition lick. You're here, Stevie Ray Vaughan, John Mayer, Albert King, you know, all kind of people uh, doing this type of lick. Josh Smith, uh, Matt Schofield, everyone does this type of transition. If you are in second position minor pentatonic and you want to get to the first position, this is a cool move to do. That's it. Slide uh, eight, six on the B string. Slide and then go. Well, you're gonna pull off eight to six on the B string. Now I slide back to the third fret of the B string. That's our transition from second position to first position, minor pentatonic. So after I did this, go to immediately to that very quickly. Now it's a very fast lick. Now, bar your first finger on the high E string and the B string, so you just roll it down. Now that puts me in position to play all this stuff. Third fret on the high E, six three on the B. So good. Now you do this fast little blues move, blues scale move here, five, six, five, pull off the three. Five. Bend up five, bar the bottom two, first finger, third fret. Pull off six, three on the B string. Same move again. Now, instead of doing like I did the first time I did this, now I'm gonna hammer on minor third, major third. So it just changes the phrase a little bit. You had first time this, second time this to end the uh, phrase and then another slide back thing. So slowly lick two, it's got a lot of stuff in it, is this. That's 
That's slower. That's not real slow. But uh, it, getting all that stuff down, you can play some mean blues licks. You just got to take them slow, slowly because they're pretty difficult. Uh, understanding how to add the major pentatonic scale in there uh, really easily is also critical uh, to learning about blending major and minor when you're improvising. <laughs> and then adding that slide back. So you have to get the notes real crisp. Can't play it that fast. You just gotta play it, uh, take it piece at a time. So the first piece. Second piece. And then just keep it uh, speeding it up every day. If that's too many notes for you, uh, maybe just give this now. That's a good exercise to do every day if you can't do uh, this. So you can divide it up into small sections. So you have this. Slowly. And you could add that section to it. Slowly. And then you just keep adding little pieces uh, so you can piece the whole thing together. So it's a great uh, thing to build chops up that uh, lick number two. Okay, so that's it for this lick. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you would like access to the full lesson, as well as the interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like these. Okay, see you next time.